December 17, 1944, the first light of dawn breaks over the snow-draped forests of the Ardennes in Belgium. Through the lingering morning mist, a column of German Panther tanks advances, their sloped armor glinting with frost and their long 75mm guns scanning the tree line. These 45-ton machines, the pinnacle of German engineering, seem nearly unstoppable. Inside a concealed American position, a Sherman tank crew spots movement. The loader reaches for a shell, but not just any round. This is the new secret weapon, the M93 HVAP. Its brass casing feels familiar, yet the projectile itself is heavier, its metallic sheen promising unprecedented lethality. The gunner lines up the target. The Panther sits 800 yards away, a distance that would have been fatal to the Sherman under normal circumstances. The Sherman fires. The tungsten core speeds through the air at nearly 3,400 feet per second, almost twice the velocity of standard. Round Zan pierces the Panther's gun mantlet as if it were paper. Inside, chaos erupts. Fragments ricochet, fuel ignites, and the turret launches skyward before crashing back down. The German crew is obliterated, never understanding what hit them. This is the story of the M93 HFE EBAP, the shell that transformed the battlefield, turning Germany's most feared tanks into fiery coffins. It's a tale of scientific ingenuity, industrial urgency, and a race to give Allied crews a fighting chance. By mid-1944, the Panther was the answer to Soviet armor, combining sloped armor inspired by the T-34 with precision German engineering. 80 mm glacis angled at 55 degrees effectively created 140 mm of frontal protection. Its 75 mm gun could destroy. Allied tanks at distances where the Sherman S 75 mm rounds couldn't T even scratch the armor. Counters with Panthers became near death sentences for American tank crews. Standard 75 mm Shermans couldn't pierce Panther armor, and even the upgraded 76 mm gun required dangerously close ranges to make a difference. One shot often decided the battle in, the first shot was nearly always the Panthers. Reports from France painted a grim picture. Platoons decimated British and American intelligence confirming the same deadly pattern. The solution lay in tungsten, one of the densest materials on earth. Germans had experimented with tungsten core rounds, but, but their supply was critically limited by Allied blockades. The U.S., with better access to tungsten from domestic mines, South America, and China, began developing high-velocity armor-piercing rounds HVAP in 1942. The breakthrough, a tungsten carbide core. Designed to survive barrel travel, but fragment on impact. These fragments ripped through tanks' interiors, igniting fuel and ammunition. The M93 HVAP round weighed 18.91 pounds, with a 4-pound tungsten core encased in aluminum alloy. Ired at 3,400 feet per second, over 30% faster than standard round ZID could penetrate Panther armor at previously impossible ranges. Yet, HVAP was scarce. Production difficulties meant American tank crews often received only a handful of rounds. Each shot required careful calculation. Use it too early, and it's wasted. Wait too long, and the Panther fires first. The first real test came in September 1944, during the Battle of Aracourt in France. M4 Shermans armed with HFBEP began destroying Panthers at distances that stunned German commanders. Turrets exploded, crews perished, and the balance of armored warfare began to shift. By December, as the Germans launched their Ardennes offensive, the Battle of the Bulge American forces were ready. Despite being outnumbered, M10 tank destroyers and Shermans armed with HVAP transformed towns like crinkled Rasheroth into veritable graveyards for Panthers. HVAP didn't just pierce armor it, shattered it from within, creating firestorms and chaos. German armor was also weakening. Allied bombing campaigns and material shortages meant Panthers were built with brittle steel, compounding HVAP's devastating effect. What was once a nearly invincible tank became a death trap. Its strength turned against its crew. From December 16, 1944, to January 25, 1945, the Battle of the Bulge tested HVAP in brutal winter conditions. Time and again, these tongue-stinkered shells proved decisive. Rewriting the rules of armored warfare and securing the survival of American tank crews facing Germany's last great offensive, 